What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I know I've been pretty lazy on the videos recently and that's my bad. Um, I do have an excuse. Um, it's probably not really a good one, but it is an excuse and I'm going to use it. And pretty much I've just been busy. And on top of that, uh, on top of just being busy, haven't really done much with the car. Um, honestly, uh, we added, uh, well, I, I, I scraped down some of the sealant or undercoating, whatever we got going on in here. Um, scrape that off. I added a bar down there while I have it tacked in and I'm actually currently making the other one that's going to go right there. Uh, just some more chassis brace stuff and uh, that's really where we're at on things we got going on. Um, I didn't go to PRI this year. I was going to but then school got in the way so I wasn't able to make it. Uh, dad did go. Mom and dad went. They had said they had a great time so I believe them. Um, I don't know. I don't really got much going on or much really to talk about, but I am going to make a video today. I'm going to make the other side of the bar. I have that one tacked in. I'm going to make that one and then we're going to, well, I'm going to make that one and then we are going to uh, weld them all up and have a good time and enjoy. So that's, that's what we got going on today. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of a, uh, of a different video maybe. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a more uh, talking through video of what I'm doing and, and why I'm doing it rather than just playing music over it. And uh, I don't know, maybe you guys might like that more. Maybe you guys won't like that at all. I'm really not sure. I'm just going to wing it. Uh, I want to do something a little bit different. And that's one thing we got going on. So I'm going to set the camera up and then uh, I'm just going to get after it. So thank you for tuning in. Let's, uh, let's get working on this bar. All right. All right. So, in part of this new style video, I guess we're, uh, I'm, I'm going to sit down and walk you through my thought process on things and why I do it and how I do it. Sounds good to me. So, I already have this bar notched up, cut to a length. It's not even relatively close to the correct length, but it's cut to a length um, that I can work with. It's not this long. It's, it's a short piece. It's good. So, um, it's a, it's a twin to this piece over here and pretty much what I'm going to do, um, since, uh, how I like to do, I, I don't do a whole lot of planning on the first bar. Um, I make sure that it's possible to copy on the other side, um, because obviously I don't, I don't like, like these two bars up here. I obviously made sure that this one would fit over here. Uh, before I just welded one in and then made the other one to it, but um, Just to kind of not do as much planning I will just take if I know I'm doing like say I'm doing this bar here And I know I'm doing one right over here What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna throw this one in where it fits and where I like it and then I'll take my measurements Make it twin here versus doing them at the same time. I'm sure doing them at the same time is probably a little bit better, but uh I just don't have the uh, mental capacity for it at the moment. So pretty much I'm up here and uh, I'm going to go from our square tube because that's, I know this is straight. I know this is flat. Um, I know that this is in the same spot. And if I measure off of here and there, it will end up in the same area. So I'm going to take my measurement here and then I'm going to mark it on the other side and start building my tube. So I have a measurement and uh, I am 18 and 3 eighths off of the square tube uh, to hit this bar. So I've made my mark at 18 and 3 eighths where I know that this tube is going to sit. Um, it's not the middle of the tube, it's the edge of the tube. And I know that 18 and 3 eighths is going to put us somewhere in this area that's all dirty so it needs to be cleaned up. I also know that my measurement for distance between frame rail and um, trunk extension is eight and a half um ish i'm a little long because obviously i can always cut more off i can't add more after i cut it off so we're going to start with eight and a half and from the crotch of the notch down and i'm going to cut eight and a half off the tube i'm going to clean up this area i'm going to shove everything in there and uh, see what we get so i'm going to hop on that and we'll check back in after that's all done all right so we are here we are uh Cleaning up our area now uh, that we are going to be welding with some acetone on a rag. Yeah, buddy. Um, kind of cool. 
it's an R, upside down R, but you know, right quarter panel. The left got this too, right there. So that's kind of cool. Um, we got our tube all cleaned up for the most part. I got hit with some acetone, but got our notch side. And if you look at it, I don't know if we can focus on it. Uh, I'm gonna try like hell. It's not an even cut because it does not sit on an even plane. It sits kind of right in this area. So I had to trim the tube up a little bit for it to get a much better fit, much tighter fit. So yeah, things are going good. We got cool stuff uh, happening. We're cleaning this up. I'm going to then uh, set you guys back up, kind of work through the um, fitting back up, making sure everything's level and uh, square and going from there. So yeah, I'm going to clean everything up, get this fit up, and then uh, we're going to walk through how I got it fit up, and then we're going to tack it up and weld. Okay, so we're here. I got my tube fed up. I got my magnets holding it. I got my angle finder telling me that we are parallel with our rectangle tube back here. I'm basing my uh, zero on this for this one, so obviously I'm going to base it off of this one. I have a uh, 90 degree magnet on the other side of this, uh, same way I fit up that one. It is measured out to be in the same spot. Um, so everything tells me that they are in the same place and that they are ready to get tacked up. Now I have to make welder out because I'm welding to this um, trunk extension here and it's dirty. It's going to be dirty metal, it doesn't matter how hard I clean it. Um, what I do, and it's always going to try to pull something up through it. So instead of TIG welding it and getting it all, looking, pretty much making it look terrible, I'm going to MIG weld this tube to the outer trunk extension, and then I'm going to TIG weld the tube to the chrome alloy frame rail. Um, and uh, you're not going to see it anyways. Um, it's just going to be, it's, it's going to be kind of hidden underneath the tin work and stuff. But for the most part, um, I still want it to make it look nice, so it's going to get MIG welded to the trunk extension and then I'm going to TIG weld it to the frame rail. So that's why I got the MIG gun out. I'm going to start that first and uh, then I'm going to get the TIG out, tack it up, and then I'm just going to alternate in between the two, get this deal done, and yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm going to tack this up real quick, get going on it, and um, I'll check back in with you guys after we got that done. So, if you made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much. Uh, like you saw, we got those two tubes tacked up, and um, that's really it. So, I just wanted to come in, stop in, and first off, wish all you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that jazz, whatever you celebrate, good for you. Um, I am not going to be posting a video next week, as uh, it's going to be the week of Christmas, and I got Christmas presents I got to build. I got to build one for Emily, and uh, that's going to take a little bit of time, so I probably won't be doing uh, race car stuff. Now, along with race car stuff, since we are on this topic, as we're always on this topic, that's what we do, we build race cars. Um, this thing is just existing. It's, I'm just keep going to keep working on it. Um, I don't really have exact plans for when it's going to be done um, or what it's going to be used for when it's done, but I know it's going to be a tool. It is going to be a tool that I use to build this channel, build my abilities, build everything. So whether it is the sick week build that it originally started as, or is it going to be a no prep um, stock bottom end record chasing car? I'm not sure. I am, however, just building it as, uh, to the best of my abilities and building the, the dream car chassis that uh, I wanted when I was this big, sitting in front of uh, one of my dad's Novas, and maybe I'll post that picture here just for fun. Um, 
Yes, this is a, this is a stock bottom end, stock block LS, and obviously big ass intercooler. I don't know if the route we're going. I'm not sure. I just know that I'm building the car to the best of my abilities, and wherever that lands it is where it's going to land. Um, it's winter time, so there's nothing really fun, awesome, cool happening. I do have a bunch of stuff in the works outside of here. I got I I. There's, there's snowmobile talks, there's car talks, there's, I mean, there's, there's so much that I'm not ready to share yet because it's, it's not set in stone. They're just ideas. They're things I'm working on outside of this garage. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm back in school doing that on the weekends and trying to build a, a great foundation that I can just grow from. Because in the past few years, I've just been building and it's kind of fall not falling apart, but it hasn't been super structurally sound planned because I've just winged it. Um, I know what my outcome I want to, and I know the outcome, I know where I want to land, but I never developed a great plan to get there. So really this year, I really, you know, maybe in the past few months, I don't want to say this year, in the past few months, kind of when we started this build, um, I really wanted to set a foundation of, of a foundation I can build off of, and that takes a lot, a lot of work, especially when your end goal is is so big and so wonderful that um, the foundation is is very, very important. But regardless, I'm not going to bore you too much with my life philosophy. That doesn't mean anything to you guys. Um, all I got to say is thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'm just a 23-year-old kid trying to do something big, and uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough. This car is is very important to me. It shows off what I am capable of at my age, and, and this is what's super cool is this is the starting point. No matter how cool this thing is, that's where I start. That's not where I end. This is the first car I'm truly building pretty much by myself. And uh, I'm enjoying the challenge way more than I think I should. It's fun. I love it. And this is what I live for. So the cool part about this is with this channel and this car, I'm able to use it as a tool to build my brand, build myself, build my skills, build everything. And uh, start really working on that foundation that I talked about. But that's really it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys getting this far into the video. If you guys watched this whole thing, thank you. Very much appreciate it. Um, we got cool things in the works I'm excited about. And uh, yeah, super fun. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe as always. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Cool. I'm off. I'll see you guys in a week. And uh, we'll be back to race car stuff.